So uh, without diving too deep into politics, but as a real estate professional, I just want to offer some opinions uh, regarding uh, President-elect Donald Trump's uh, campaign promises toward fixing the housing crisis. You know, he talked about how mass deportation of illegal immigrants can help reduce home prices. So Trump has suggested that the recent surge of uh, undocumented immigrants uh, is the reason to blame for America's uh, uh, housing crisis, primarily with low inventory on top, uh, high housing prices. Okay, but the reality is, uh, this situation has been going on for some times already, right? And the rising cost is before, right? The current undocumented immigrant crisis started with the whole Texas busing, right? So. For Trump to say that, you know, this is uh, one of the primary reasons uh, creating the housing crisis in terms of high prices and low inventory, right? Uh, many experts say there's mixed feelings toward this. Also, mass deportation uh, of immigrants can have both short-term and long-term adverse effects. Uh, in, in short term, the mass deportation of immigrants can actually result in a slower building process of new houses because according to data st statistics uh, you know much of the workforce that helping building houses construction you know are in fact foreign born workers and immigrants hence the negative effect created in, in, in the short term could bleed into long term and basically spread into overall economy you know, Trump had talked about cutting regulations to reduce housing costs he talked about how Buying a new home, there is 30% of regulation fee you have to dish out. But in reality is, right, even according to National Association of Home Builders, the cost, uh, the regulation cost per new home is actually 7.4%, right? So right there, you have a reality check that the number Trump you know, boasted is overly inflated. Right? But one thing, you know, Trump and Kamala kind of agree upon is open up federal lands for more building on federal lands. But the problem with that is that the logistic part, a lot of these federal lands are located in places that's far and remote. People don't want to live there. Say people who want to stay in New York for the accessibility benefits New York City can bring, why should they become frontier people, even though there are certain benefits, but why should they become frontier people and go to those places just middle of nowhere and then start a new life? So. So while this idea of opening up federal lands is good, it's not feasible to the current reality. And of course, Trump, you know, also talked about how he himself are able to cut interest rates. Right? And this is something as a real estate agent I, I, I learned. I don't discuss interest rates. I don't discuss mortgage. I let the professional do it. And even the mortgage professionals, they don't offer you solid predictions because we all know that it's not it's not something that you can predict you know it's like a it's, it's something with a mind on its own right this this how how interest rate work it's almost near sentient and so it's not something like he, he come in he's gonna say something and then he's gonna make the feds cut rates in fact you know some many economists have suggested you know if trump is able to enact law to change a tax code Cutting out the federal income tax, cutting out the social security tax, cutting out the the tips tax, right? That alone will will create more deficit for for the country because the country is already in a deficit. So by cutting out this way for the country for the government to generate revenue without a definite plan of re replacement, it's going to create more deficit. By having more deficit, U.S. going to have to sell more bonds. By selling more bonds, we'll have to see more inflation. When there's more inflation, we're going to be seeing the Fed increase the interest rates. And also in closing, right? So, you know, much of the current U.S. you know housing market, you know, the issue with price, issue with inventory, you know, really started way before, you know, what Trump has said during this campaign. You know, you kind of go back to like 2012. Um, and there's a statistic talk about between 2012 and 2023, there's about a gap between anywhere from 22.5 million to 7.5 million of, of how you know housing gap, right? New houses being built, right? So new houses that are not being built, they're they're slacking, they're behind, 
they're behind very badly so we're not having enough inventory you know i remember watts now you know back to his governor watts and has talked about how some of his economical planning in minnesota was to solely building regular homes rather than luxury homes right building a regular home for regular people right so so the home production uh, uh performance has been lacking for many 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 years so so the current you know real estate market crisis situation involving prices and inventory uh, it has been going on so it's not just something as easy as uh deporting massively can resolve but again many economists suggest you know what trump has talked about in the campaign have mixed reality mixed feeling so we really have to see you know how things go you know you know as a licensed real estate agent you know, why I remain to be optimistic about our common goal of finding that home or selling this home at the same time I feel responsible to share with you the reality and offer you some opinions of my own so I hope you like this segment again my name is Peter Zhao licensed real estate agent here in Long Island resident here I've been here for a long time so if you're interested in this market if you want to hear more contents like this, please follow me. Thank you so much.